Well, in the last 24 hours, we have seen several major market developments in the oil front. First of all, Saudi Arabia announced it will extend its so-called Saudi lollipop into August, signaling that it is perhaps willing to give up market share and volumes to restore market balances. And analysts say the kingdom will likely extend that cut through September as well. What's interesting is that Russia followed Saudi Arabia in solidarity here too, signaling its intention to cut production and exports by 500,000 barrels but there are plenty of questions circling about Russian production right now and how credible that cut is remains to be seen. Altogether, analysts have said that this could ultimately put crude back on a path to soar back to 90 US dollars a barrel by year end, even as short positions in Brent and WTI among traders are at the highest that they've been since 2020, with the macroeconomic risk to oil demand remaining the major unknown right now. Well, let's get more on this and bring in Vandana Hari. She is the founder and CEO of Vanda Insights, joining us live from Singapore. And Vandana, we have to begin our conversation on this flurry of deal-making activity that we've seen in the last 24 hours. Walk me through this Saudi extension and the Russia cut. What impact do you think it's going to have on market balances and prices? Hi, Dan. So, um, yeah, it does look like a flurry, doesn't it? But look, the Saudi extension of the 1 million barrel per day additional unilateral cut was very much expected, I would say, uh, to the extent that it was baked into prices right up till uh, this week. Russian announcement, uh, to be honest, has left the market a little bit confused, perplexed. Uh, it's a cut in exports, you know, which really muddies the waters because uh, the market is used to hearing from OPEC Plus in terms of production targets and actual production and, and not exports. And of course, you know, the sort of op opacity around uh, what is Russia producing, what is it exporting uh, since last year makes it all very uh, much worse. So, um, you know, I would expect the market to take the Russian announcement with a grain of salt. And as I said, the Saudi announcement was very well expected. So uh, we did see a, a bump in prices yesterday, but, you know, I don't expect it to last. So, Vandana, why don't you expect it to last? Why haven't we seen prices materially move higher as a result of these deals that have been announced? So, you know, uh, crude prices have uh, been driven more by sentiment, economic sentiment, and within that, to some extent, by fear and panic, which is, you know, always hard to quantify. And th therein lies a, a major challenge for OPEC Plus as well. You know, how do you, how does the organization respond to uh, a sell-off that happens every now and again uh, in in just uh, out of out of panic? Because you know, it's difficult to uh, ascertain or you know assess what the the economies will do, especially in the West, you know, which is where uh, most of the nervousness is currently focused, you know, US and Europe, and then in turn, what it will mean for, for demand. So, but, but at the end of the day, what we are seeing is that uh, the market is assessing OPEC cuts, probably not enough to counter the feared drop in demand.